will be asked to swim to the left. So let's give our trainers a second to arrange their stations. And you see they're already feeding out food. However, this morning we are doing a feeding and training session. So once they have the first big hunger is satisfied, then you can see as Salka was asked to move to the left, they are working with a trainer on different types of behavior. But I already had the questions earlier, what are you feeding the sea otters? Well, we have three food items they really like to eat. We feed them here on a daily basis, clam, shrimp, and squid. And the wild sea otters eat a variety of shellfishes, so you can see them hunting for crabs, small red octopuses, mussels, and so forth. Here on exhibit, everything comes in without a shell. Even if we know that in the wild, they can open our shell food items with a rock. But on exhibit, everything comes from its field called sea lion's head. So a high food intake, a high metabolism, and a really dense fur makes it happen to them to survive in cold water of the Pacific. And the Pacific usually has a temperature between 50 and 60 degrees, so it's really, really cold out there. So when you see them swimming to the stations in a moment, one of the otters will be asked to come out on land. It didn't happen this time. Sometimes sea otters can choose to follow a command right away. We will give them some freedom to work with a trainer or not, but usually we reinforce the command, and here we see how Rosa is coming out on land. This gives you an amazing opportunity to see a be also important part of our surrogacy program. Anyone who wants to learn more about that, please join me in the auditorium at 11. When they come straight on. So we're just going forward and we're just going backwards more. It's kind of hard because there's a hand in my video. I wish the glass wasn't pretty warped to like that. So that's a cuttlefish. Again, with the warped glass. Get out of here. That's so you can see it bigger than it is. He's like right there. You sure are cool. Good shot, get out of the way.
get to take a seat inside of a sort of stadium style seating here. There are benches there at the back, of course, are welcome to use. And up there on that second level, you have a great vantage point as well. You can see everything from up there. Now, folks, the top let's just make sure we hold on to any loose items, all right? Bags, purses, small children. We don't need any surprises down here. Now, with this meeting totally underway, please report to as many photos and videos as you like. We want you to be able to remember everything you are about to see here. But with those photos and videos, let's just make sure we turn off the flash on your picture taking devices. We are a flash ray facility here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Not only will your photos turn out better, but these animals will certainly thank you for it. And especially for this wonderful exhibit we have right here in front of us. Now this is of course our Cal Forest exhibit. We like to go just finishing up their final checks up top. While we're waiting for these divers to join us, I'd like to talk a little bit about those divers themselves. Now the amazing thing about our divers join us today, James and Anne, is that they are two more big buckets full of food. So everyone gets their meal today. Remember we started with that little grill appetizer to get everyone excited. And soon enough we'll have those buckets of food to be fed at as well. On the menu today, we're going to have a whole lot more krill, of course, we do have more krill to give out. But we'll also have things like chopped bait fish and shrimp and squid. Now the squid is going to be a favorite for these leopard sharks. We'll see if we get some action from them soon enough. In the meantime, we see our second diver come out in the water with those green fins there. Just another few moments, folks. Now I'd like to talk about one of these fish that's actually hanging out over here on this right side. This California sheephead. This big black and orange and white banded fish. Now this fish doesn't always participate in the feeding, so the fact that I have that right now is going to take this opportunity to share some wonderful class with. Now we have one of And now here comes our guard girls. Are you guys going to get away high? Back end, just keep it to the back end. All right, get out of there, dude. Dick move, dude. So I was good. up on this rock. Everything was good. Alright, I'm shooting. <laughs> Thank you. Woo. Oh, he's going to come down around. Oh, here he comes. We see you. Oh, oh, yeah. You want to share? Oh, no, that's a good one. Oh, 
knocked it out of my hand. A piece of the action. <laughs> mine, 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 mine. There's definitely something running across the, the plane out there for sure. And all these little all these little ditty dogs, prairie dogs are dicking down. So that's out that's definitely out there doing something. Dude, there's gonna be a Let car go. right behind us. There's a car right behind us, dude. see a lot of climbers on yeah that's El Capitan the rounded one is half dome there are two okay. that's about all you're gonna get there's that awesome view of the Vail Falls Bridal Vale Falls that is so cool this way I'm filming just keep moving ah really that stuff is cold lady I have no idea he's having fun well good I don't know where the bears at
How cold is it? Ah! Booba loobers. Gibba dibba da. That's cold. Oh. I videotaped that, you boob. So I want you to stand in between those two behemoth trees right there. Go, I want you to stand in between them. Ha! Now that's funny. Oh, of course. I think I got it. There he is. Yeah, I got him. Isn't it adorable? There's a whole bunch of them in there. Here comes If one comes up, the others will come up. Of course, because I'm videotaping. Right. You could probably turn it off. <laughs> I am. Yeah, yeah. Where did I turn it off? Oh,